vertex mode. So, ed ed excuse me, right click, convert to editable poly, then click on vertex. As you can see, that's all they are there. Right, so, what we're going to do is enlarge that. I must admit, I'm not in the best frame of mind at the moment, because in all honesty, I think this is going to turn out better than the one I actually did for my Constitution class. Won't be too much of a burden to just add my textures to it and redo, but oh well. Right, okay. Now just select the end vertexes. And drag them down to the end. As you can see, it's a little bit too long, so we're just going to shrink that down. Now, this is one bit which will probably end up making you guys ask some questions. With the last bits there, select with your ver um, polygon tool select the end poly back to this view zoom in on it extrude it until you get to the end of there so you've got the curvature of the dome now this is where it gets interesting we're now going to use a spline to create it all so standard splines and a line now click on your smooth here on the drag type because it will make things easy for you click then about halfway click and hold until you get about there click halfway again click and hold and then as you hit the tip click just make any random shape around that you want and then click back on your yellow dot and it will say close blind piece of cake yes modifiers mesh editing extrude now just extrude that enough to cover all of your nacelle like so I'll just show you what I've got so you can see what I'm doing here you go now this is the easy bit click on your main cylinder again back to your create back to your simple geometries down to the third one which is actually called compound objects click on that pro boolean start picking make sure you've got subtraction selected now click on that shape you just created and boom it's disappeared there you go let's just get the uh, shape looking good so we're going to go back to your cylinder modifiers mesh editing smooth auto smooth for now until we can get around to it and clean it up because it will need cleaning you've got extra polys here that aren't needed all that will clean up nicely if you're really just practicing at the moment, I suppose you could take the easy route and just go weld 150 down to 148. Mm, that would do for now. Modifiers, mesh editing, smooth, and auto smooth again. Now, we're going to make the little groove first where you can see all your new parts you've just created. Well, the bits you did first actually. Poly, go back down to here. I want you to select vertex mode because we're actually going to make some incisions now. Right, okay. With your vertex selected, go to slice plane, scroll down to where it starts, which is there, slice to where it starts, up on the other end, or ends, whatever you want to say, start and slice. Now, select the polygon tool. Now everything that you've just created is all selected singularly. Make sure you've not selected anything on this side at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, even. Extrude. We're not going outwards, so it's in the minuses this time, people. About there will do for me. That's to my liking. Now, using the modifier tab again, select the uniform scale, bring that in to where it looks like it should go, according to there, which is roughly about that. Okay, there you go. Basically done. Basically. Now for the fun part. Okay, select all your bits there. Make sure you've got none of them selected, otherwise you'll select everything like I just did. Select it all. Holding Alt, click on your nacelle. That would make that disappear. And look at what you've just done by moving that forward, people. 
Okay, now just move that block back to there for now. Would you look at that, guys? Okay, back to your smooth again. Modifiers, machete scene, optimize, don't do that. I'm getting a bit frustrated here, sorry. Smooth, auto smooth, whack. Okay, now for the next bit. We're going to make the griddles, or whatever they are, just in front of the bazaar. So, excuse me about that. Select. Convert to play. Right, okay, now what I intend to do here is to make um, different parts to be shaped. So they've actually got like a groove in them, so instead of being textured, it's actually modelled in. Now what I'm going to do first is just extrude that to zero. 0.001 so there's no mu nothing much to it at, at all but what that does it gives me the chance to ex uh, to make using that tool uniform scale again to make that type of feature because if I did it without selecting the extrude first it would have actually started to shrink the whole end of that pylon again which nays also which is not what I want to do so now I've got it to say There. I'm going to start work on this. I'm going to go extrude by 1.5. No, I'm not going to go to extrude 2, sorry. 2. And I am then going to boost that up so it matches the outside. No, I'm not. Go a little bit in so you can see the outside line. Okay, then extrude 0 0.001. Shrink that down again. Say 90 again. Extrude 2. And then enlarge until you get to where I said earlier. Then extrude again. Yeah, this is a little bit long winded, boys. Sorry about that down to 90 again extrude by 2 again and enlarge again now that should be enough 3 three would look about right so we can now enlarge on the on there selecting your vertexes just drag them so the where they need to be, which will be there. Drag them over so they don't look so bad. Just drag them up a little bit more as well. Okay, now these ones do need to come out a little bit more. Just so we can put the buzzards on. Right, extrude. But we're not going to go to this time. We're going to go right to the end. There. Then we're going to go extrude again to there. We're now going to uniform scale again. Down. Now time for the bizarre. How easy was that? Yeah, so if you can hear Maiden still, I need my music to concentrate. Sphere, so about the size you want. Hemisphere, 0.5. Drag the little bugger down to the front. Then make sure she's the right size. Oh, would you look at that, people? You're getting there. Yeah, you got a little bit of mesh over down there, which we'll fix in a minute. Unless I've really bodged up and I haven't realised. If I have, it's quite simple. We'll cut that off and start that bit again. 